Hello, welcome back. So let's run the old web UI. Uh, as you see, we will be also launch a remote server and we can actually connect to it and get some information. Um, some of the information you can actually see that we expose a lot more now that we are doing it all. So the old UI has like this very minimal representation of the data. Uh, over here on the overview is where all the new bars were running with a uh, account running at this very moment because the kernel changed a lot and the old web UI doesn't work with the new kernel. But um, over here we have a very minimal representation of the counter with different bars that were not really meaning really meaningful because they didn't have um, they didn't have all the metrics descriptions that we have here with all the units. You can also see the old UI. Those this is the where all the graphs go. And they they don't they, they don't run but they were kind of difficult and not intuitive to use. And um, also the units were very difficult to understand. You will not be able to have any information about the equation, how this thing is calculated, how is this data actually transferred. So forensic tracing and, and tracing was not implemented and we are still working on it, which is to be able to record and replay the data. And over here it was supposed to be like a graph explaining this the GPU and that's also on our plan for the future just to be able to display a bit more how everything works and the log trace which we also have which is here but as you see it's very limited and the information is not displayed as well as now and you will not be able to load different architectures so um, it's quite like a big change, I guess, not, not only on the aesthetic side, obviously, but you know, it's very easy to see that there is a massive difference, but also in functionality. And this includes all the new work that Rob has been doing on the kernel also. So, uh, big change. Thank you.